apartment building was marketed as earthquake proof, but it was always destined to fail, and it did, killing hundreds of residents when the devastating earthquake hit Turkey in February. A months-long investigation and forensic analysis by our team found that the tragedy at Renaissance was a result of flawed design and minimal oversight. We constructed a 3D model to show you multiple weaknesses and points of failure that could have brought the building down. The most vulnerable part of Renaissance was the ground floor, which had fewer masonry blocks than elsewhere, as well as taller columns to make room for an open layout. That most likely created a vulnerability called a soft story, which made the lower level more prone to swaying in a quake. The building may have also been vulnerable to overturning, meaning the movement of the upper floors created a downward force on the ground floor columns, threatening their ability to remain intact. Images of the wreckage showed that all the three towers broke off around the ground floor and fell in nearly identical ways, suggesting they were built with the same flaws. When the earthquake hit, Selma Keskin, a lawyer living on the third floor, was awake in her living room. Rescuers later found her alive four stories below in the bottom of the parking garage, but her car, parked on the north side of the garage, survived intact. The difference in damage between the north and south sides was a result of the building toppling southward, partly because the framework of beams and columns was misaligned and the structural connections were insufficient between the two sides. The building's long and thin shape was also a risky design in an earthquake zone. Even so, the towers should have been able to 